so um, my garden, you know, even though I tell a lot of people about gardening is kind of a mess. Um, I'm gonna do some things about that this coming spring. But right now I have a ton of different bulbs flowering and just a lot of things that are looking really, really cool right now. I'm taking a quick break from gardening on this beautiful Michigan weekend day to give you an update on what I'm doing in the garden. Um, this is a quarantine project that, um, you know, as I was saying in an earlier video, um, we have always wanted to do these things, but usually there's just always something else to do. So we'll just be like, oh, we'll just go and do that and never actually get around to it. So this is the year that we are getting around to it in a very big way. And um, one of the things we wanted to do was put a patio here by our garage. Um, it has a nice view. We were trying to just create more different seating areas um, with different feels and different tones. And of course, different light levels through the day um, because it is a very, very sunny yard. We don't really have a lot of trees. And that necessitated digging up a bunch of um, perennial hibiscus from Proven Winners Perennial Program, Summerific Hibiscus, that I've had for a couple of years. I actually have quite a few. That means I have to do something with them. I don't want to just get rid of them or throw them away. I love them. Um, so what we decided to do was to create a new bed where they're going to be planted and give us some privacy in the summer. So that's it. Just a quick update on that project. Um, we are definitely taking on a lot of projects, but I'm super, super excited about it. And I cannot wait to be able to show you what these hibiscus look like this August. So stay tuned. What projects are you working on? One of the biggest projects I have going on this year uh, for my garden is um, uh, we have purchased a lot next to us uh, with the intention of turning it into another piece of property that we can either build on, but for the time being, it's going to be a, a vegetable garden. Um, so currently we have a hockey rink um, that was set up, uh, an ill-fated hockey rink attempt, uh, but um, uh, I've got some uh, plans um, to um, build uh, raised beds, and so I'm going to use the lumber from the hockey rink to uh, construct uh, uh, beds uh, that will be growing a bunch of veggies. The garden is about 15 years old. Uh, this house was uh, built and we bought it new, and so um, this was complete blank slate. And uh, so everything you see here, uh, we planted. I think my favorite part of the yard is just tucked around um, our, our sunroom. I've got a number of hookahs in there. I've got some sedums in there. Usually I test out some plants that are new and then I've got some hydrangeas and some chokeberries in there as well. And so I, I just love that part of the garden because it's, it's quiet. Um, it's it's cooler usually and it's uh, a little bit on the sh definitely on the shady side. Okay. My wife loves taking cut flowers um, and cut greens from the garden and bringing those inside and that's just been a real joy. We also um, have habitats set up for um, uh, pollinators. Uh, we love having uh, the, the wildlife around um, as well. In the back of the yard, you'll, you'll see that we've got actually um, a prop that we actually used in one of our gardener's idea books. And uh, that has found its home in my uh, backyard. It was about a three hour uh, trip to get there. Uh, so it fit in perfectly with a space that we were reutilizing. So it's nice to, uh, in the summer months to sit on that and uh, just relax without having to have a hammock in the yard uh, and just have a nice relaxing spot under the tree. Hi everybody, this is Carrie from Proven Winners. And today I'm gonna talk a little bit more about my garden. Uh, we have been here at our house about 15 years um, and when we got here our garden or the garden at the house um, basically consisted of some foundation shrubs around the porch and then some very abused hostas that were in full sun poor things so that was pretty much the extent of it um, I hate foundation shrubs. It's a personal prejudice. I know that lots of people love foundation hedges and shrubs and they're really a great thing, but I want to pack my flower beds with flowers. And so um, the first thing we did, much to my husband's consternation, was pull out all of the um, foundation shrubs that were planted around the house. So the one that we do have, almost all, let's see. See that uh, hedge back there? That is in a three foot space between the garage and the sidewalk. And that is a holly hedge. And I really like it actually. It's evergreen and it stays there all the time. And it's a really great haven for um, wildlife. We have a pair of cardinals that have a tendency to hang out there and raise their babies. And I scare the ever living daylights out of them every time I walk down the stairs and go down that sidewalk. 
So we started out with just some beds around the house. Um, unfortunately, those beds have um, clay backfill and it's rocky. And <laughs> it's really awful soil. And I have been gardening with it, well, for 15 years now. And I am okay with that. I have figured out how to make it work for me. Um, one of the accommodations that I make because of that really kind of crappy soil and all the rockiness and whatnot is we are actually classified USDA zone six, but I don't plant anything that's less hardy than zone five, expecting it to um, make it through the winter. So the main way I use my garden is to try and pack in a ton of color. I spend most of my time is working with annuals, so I pack a lot of annual color into my garden every year. Um, and that is kind of mostly what I do. I add in the perennials and shrubs and I'm always trying new things, so that's always fun. But I really use it for color. So we have two gardens. Our front garden is a, like your classic, I love plants. I'm gonna throw everything I love in here and hopefully it turns out kind of garden. And our back garden is a vegetable slash cut flower garden. They're about a year old uh, since we moved to this house about a year ago. Um, and they are just gonna keep evolving over time. So the front yard is gonna get some evergreens this year um, just to give it a little bit more beef, give it a little bit more winter interest. Um, and the backyard, I think we're gonna do um, obviously a lot more seeds, seeded vegetables than the year prior. And we love those spaces for their, uh, their very separate nature. So the front yard, we go up there and we say, oh my gosh, like wow, the beauty of nature. Uh, we're watching our favorite plants grow. Um, and our backyard, uh, we use that to embrace a lot of our hobbies. So I love arranging flowers and I love, um, and we love to can uh, and cook. So we'll use those areas um, to kind of just relax outside, get the work done, um, but still, still get something accomplished. Hi guys, my name is Lauren. I was taking a walk with my mom to the garden. Look what we found. Butterbird. Hey Lauren, when do butterbird flower? They flower in early spring. And after they're done flowering, they send up their leaves, right? Yes. And how big are the leaves in the summertime? They're huge. Like how big? Are they bigger than you? No, about the size of me. Okay. They call this plant butterbur because long time ago, they would use butterbur leaves to wrap up the butter so they wouldn't melt in the summer. Pretty cool? It is pretty cool. Hi guys, this is Lauren. This is a hell of one. They're even flowering in the snow. Do you want to know a fun fact? These are not petals, it's a sepal. Cool. The flower's actually inside. I was planting some seeds at my grandma's greenhouse. It's really fun. Check out all this lettuce we're growing. I'm getting ready to harvest the lettuce. 